Good morning, App Properties. It's Thursday, April 16th. I'm Amy Kaur, and I'm joined by Kevin Van Eck, who is live out of our Peoria office. We want to thank you for joining us again this morning for another episode of Coffee with Amy and Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. Hey, good morning, Amy. Good to see you. Happy Thursday to everybody. Thank you for joining us. Uh, hopefully, you have your lemon water or coffee or whatever you're drinking today. Uh, we have a topic today. That we're going to talk about uh, it's an interesting, interesting topic. It's talking about being a visionary. And so this is something that we may have mentioned over the past uh, week or two in terms of being a visionary in your business, being a visionary in your life. And so we really wanted to bring that home. Uh, Amy, I have a question for you. You know, how did this topic come up? Because this is something that you've talked about over the last week, uh, both with your office and uh, here on, on Coffee with Amy and Kevin. Yeah, thanks, Kev. Um, you know, it was interesting because I think last Tuesday, Thad was um, on a, an interview with Brad Inman, and he was on with another um, independent uh, broker owner, uh, Vanessa Bergmark, who is uh, actually out of, I think it's Red Oak Realty in California. And, you know, it was interesting because in the podcast, Brad was talking to both Thad and Vanessa just about what's going on out there right now, you know, with the uh, COVID-19 and just really the changes that are going on in our industry and what it's like for them right now to be owners of a company where so many things are changing so quickly and there's so many unknowns. And what I loved about the interview is that both of them to me were super inspirational. You know, Vanessa talked a lot about this being a time right now where for herself, she gets to take a step back and really take a look at her business and what they were doing really well. Uh, but some of the things that they've now had to change and really that they sort of had to pivot their business in some ways because of just the new restrictions going on in related to all the health issues. And, you know, but she also used this word about, you know, it being a time to be able to become a visionary in the business. And I loved that. You know, she talked about the idea of, you know, looking at our industry and saying, what can we be doing better when we get out of this? What are we doing or what were we doing that is sort of obsolete now? And she also spoke quite a bit about, you know, waking up every day really excited to try and figure out what are some of the problems that we're going to be facing. You know, and then Thad chimed in and really talked about right now being a time for us as a company and he and Mike really focusing on the idea of being all in, really focusing on how can we best service our clients, how can we best service our agents, but most importantly, how can we be looking at our business to figure out when we start coming out on the other side of this, you know, how can we be stronger and how can we position ourselves? So I loved it. It was really inspirational. And so what I actually did is I asked our Winneka office, you know, I send out uh, what I try to have be a motivational thing once a day. And so I asked all the agents to really, you know, be a visionary themselves take a step back and really look at their business, you know, maybe just taking a look at the day-to-day -day operations. You know, we are always running in such a rat race. We're always running from showing to showing, doing a new listing presentation, you know, getting in front of a new buyer that I, I know even in my own experience when I sold, it was always really hard to take a step back to really look at the, my business or, you know, the business as a whole and say like, what's working? What isn't really great? What don't I enjoy? And what could I maybe be doing better to be more efficient but to even just be able to be a better broker. And so I asked my Winneka agents to really take this time. You know, we're still all busy. We're all working. We're managing shelter in place, but we do have a little bit more time to ourselves. And so I asked them to look at their day to day, take a look at their marketing plans, take a look at, um, you know, what you even want to do, maybe something new that you haven't done for your business right now, but that you really want to maybe take on, whether it's sending out a quarterly newsletter to your neighborhood, or maybe it's thinking about doing, you know, it might be a while before we can do this, but a client appreciation party after we all get out of shelter in place and we can slowly get back to, um, you know, getting together with one another. So I just really, you know, threw that out as a, a thought for people right now, because I do think we have the opportunity of a little bit of time on our side where we have our thoughts and we can really, um, you know, maybe start laying the groundwork for what, what our future holds. So um, that was sort of the task that I threw out to them. Yeah, I love that. And you got such a great response from that too. And I think it totally makes sense because, 
you know, of course, life has been changed during the shelter in place, right? A lot of us are dealing with family at home when we normally wouldn't. Um, and so our routines have all changed, but w there is that time you're talking about, Amy, where we can hopefully, you know, have the creative moment. And Fad talked about it the other day in terms of going on a walk and either thinking or, you know, calling your, your contacts and talking with them, but taking some time to really think through and take an assessment. So I think that's, you know, Amy, I think, you know, we had talked about it in terms of this is a good opportunity to take an assessment because we know one thing. Uh, we know that life will be different when we come out of this. But we know that we do have some control over that too. And so thinking through now as we have, have this moment to, to, to think, thinking through both professionally and personally, what do we want life to be like? So one of the things that, you know, I think I would suggest is start thinking through who do you want to be? You know, what type of a parent do you want to be moving forward? What type of a friend do you want to be moving forward? You know, this period where we're not as connected maybe with some people as we used to be uh, because we can't see each other in person. You know, how are you going to change that moving forward? Um, will you will you pull people closer? And then also, you know, how are you going to modify, uh, you know, who do you want to be as a broker? Um, what do you want your business to look like? So to your point, Amy, you know, what, what are the things that you have always thought about maybe doing but haven't had the time to really consider? So there's two things uh, when it comes to this. Uh, and how you can, you know, again, whether it's personal or professional, two questions to ask yourself, you know, what do you need to learn uh, to be able to come out of this and be the person you want to be? And then also, what do you need to do to come out of this and to be that person that you want to be? Yeah, and I love the idea of like, what do you have, you know, what do you have to learn right now? You know, and it's interesting because you and I were talking um, a little bit earlier before, you know, off camera. And, you know, when I transitioned into, you know, my new role at AD, which was really getting involved with you in the coaching and training department, I, I felt like for myself professionally, I needed, I knew I knew a lot. And I had some, you know, really great ex experience having managed, you know, for the last 10 years, but I felt like I needed to dig a little bit deeper and kind of get outside of myself. So one of the things I really focused on last year, kind of the second half of last year, is I really started looking at some different books that gave me some insight into, you know, the business. And it wasn't just, they weren't just real estate specific books. I actually wanted to dig deeper into um, you know, sales itself. And so I, you know, uh, looked and I found some great books by Jeb Blount. And he was really able to give me a whole new perspective on our business and who we are as real estate brokers, but who we are in the mindset or concept of sales and how to take some of this stuff externally and be, be able to sort of bring it back and apply it to, to us and to app properties and to our agents. So, you know, I think, you know, learning, Right now, it's such a great opportunity for agents to to figure out, you know, where what do I want to be, but where can I pull inspiration? Where can I pull new ideas? You know, we had Rich Neal on yesterday morning, and he talked about how he constantly is reading. He's always looking at different articles and different things that are really sort of self-help that are both motivational, uh, inspirational, but also help him create some structure in, in what he wants to accomplish. So I think right now, while we're all sort of, you know, shelter in place and we've got a little bit more time, that's one of the things I think as an agent, you can maybe, you know, explore. And it's, it's not necessarily just business. I think it's a combination of, you know, uh, what you want to be professionally, but I think that really does, you know, coincide with what you want to be personally, because both need to be in balance, I believe, in order to really feel to, to be your true self and kind of give both of them your all. Yeah, that's great. I think um, really when you, and when we talk about learning, right, it doesn't mean that you need to read a book a week. It doesn't mean that you need to take master class and learn. It really is, I think, you know, focus on a few things. And to your point about reading a book, and I think Rich said this yesterday, is reading a few pages, you know, and there's, there's some book or some speaker that I've heard, and I'm sorry, I can't remember, who said read 10 pages a day. It's as simple as that. You don't need to sit down and take an hour and read. If you read 10 pages a day, uh, you'll get through the book quicker than you think, but you'll also pick up uh, the concepts there. And uh, there's someone you may know, Wayne Kauf, who is a managing broker out of the uh, Streeterville and Oak Park and uh, Elmhurst offices that was um, retired last year. And we miss you dearly, Wayne, if you're watching this. But he was a big proponent of that, of reading a certain number of pages every day in order to learn. So it's, it's about learning, right? But it's also about doing. 
And so when we talk about, you know, what you want to look like, uh, who you want to be when you come out of this, you know, what are the things that you can do? And my, my suggestion is, is don't make this a big project. It could be something as simple as starting a direct mail campaign. It could be something as simple as, as, as you said, Amy, the, uh, the newsletter, starting a e quarterly e-newsletter that you're going to produce and send out. It doesn't need to be this massive project. Um, it could be something that you've thought about over time. So think about that. It could be hiring an assistant or preparing to hire an assistant. If you knew that your business was requiring it before and you were getting to the point where you were more focused on admin than you were on business building activities, you know that you're going to get to that place again. And so what can you do now to set yourself up to make hiring, uh, finding, hiring, training, and implementing that assistant down the road much easier? So when we think about you know, learning, um, let's write some things down. When we think about what you're going to do, let's write some things down as we have this assessment. And we can probably implement those into the habit tracker that Matt Anderson talked with us about a few Thursdays ago. Um, look at the steps you need to take to get to where you want to go. Yeah, and I think the thing that's also really important is that we have to recognize that each one of us is in a different new normal. You know, I think Kevin, you and I were joking a little bit earlier that, you know, I think right now our shelter in place scenarios couldn't be, uh, you know, uh, further apart from one another as far as the experience. Uh, you know, right now I am dealing with, you know, I've got two young kids and I'm trying to balance the e-learning, which I know many of you out there are trying to, uh, to master as well. Uh, but it's all of us just sort of being hunkered down into one household. We wake up in the morning and everybody sort of claims their spot. Mine tends to be the kitchen island, which is where I'm at right now. But then I'm also, you know, the cook, the the, the cleaning person after everybody's eaten breakfast. So we all have to recognize that there's a lot going on for many of us. And, you know, there's all different types of things that people are experiencing right now. You know, some people have loved ones that they're really worried about. You know, we have somebody in management that, you know, has four first responders in her household. And so she's coming to work and she's showing up every day here and at, but there's a lot on her mind as well, just with the safety of, you know, the people that she loves. So I think, you know, what's really important Important is to make sure to be kind to yourself. You know, we are certainly encouraging you to try and stay focused on your business. We are here as a support network for you. Um, if you need ideas, if you need some encouragement, um, but we also recognize that we're also living through a very scary time in life and we're all adapting and changing. And sometimes we're just dealing with things real time. So it's, you know, all I would suggest is to try and set a goal no, no matter how big or small, for yourself on a daily basis. And even if it is, I want to reorganize my whole house so that when I get out of this, I can be more focused on my business. Because if you're anything like me, if I feel like my house is in kind of chaos, I don't operate as well on the work front. So whatever it may be, uh, we know that you are, you know, dealing with things and handling it all in stride. But it's, you know, try to do something try to reach out to us if you need help. I think that's so important. We want to be here for you. That's why Kevin and I show up every morning uh, with coffee in hand. Um, but, you know, just know that we're going to get through this. You're going to get through this. Um, you know, we're all going to be better for it, I think, in the long run. Um, and, you know, just try to see what you can do to be your own visionary and, you know, take it one step at a time. Yes. Uh, thank you, Amy. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully this has given you some, uh, some thoughts, something to think about as you go about your day today and uh, over the coming weeks, because we do want to come out of this more, uh, you know, stronger than we went in. And uh, yes, we are all going through the same situation, but um, we are in different scenarios. But if we take some time for ourselves to be able to become, uh, this, this could be, you know, a, a silver lining to what's happening around us. So, we do want to hear from you. So as Amy says, you know, if you can, if you can reach out to us and let us know if you have questions, how we might be able to help. We'd love to hear how you're being a visionary in your business, the things that you'd like to add, the, the ways that you're going to be, a, that you're thinking about being a visionary in your personal life. If you're willing to share that, we would love to see those things as well. And the steps you're taking, because we can be part of your support circle. As you said, Amy, we can, we can uh, be part of the support that helps you get to where you want to go and to be the person you want to be. So thanks again for joining us. Have a wonderful day. Amy, we'll see you tomorrow. And yep, uh, see you, you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Be safe out there.